Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you're watching Denji and we're playing God of War Ragnarok. We're going to continue on this mission of finding these gnomes. If you're new to the channel, please do leave a like on the video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button because it helps the channel out a hell of a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified next time I upload a video. But in the meantime, let's crack on with the story and uh, find these gnomes. Fair. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. What's on earth? Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you travelled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumour about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to make your minds up. Existence. Which way are you going? So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Ah, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I have no idea where these dogs are leading us. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. This way? This is the way I was going last time. Right now, these little dogs are winding me up, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. And I bet they're not. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. I can hear Blacksmith, though. Easy time. Come on. the wolves it is. Anything else? Hold on a second, there's a chain here. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. 
What's that outpost? Is that pure Spartalfime slag? Give it here. All right. What do we have? Um, let's have a look at the Chaos Blades. We can't do anything with those. Uh, Leviathan Axe. No upgrades available. Okay, shields. Can't do anything with that. Anything for Freya? Sword. No. Nah. Kratos? So, got time to chat? You won't believe it, Mimi. This crest belongs to Fjotalun. Fjotalun, you say? Now that's where Seeker was from. Oh, no. Let's uh, stick to the main quest. Hold on a second. We need to find these norms. At least we know there's a... Uh, oh. At least we know there's a... Um, blacksmith that we can go to. In this area. Right. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Hopefully they direct me in the right direction the first time. Unlike before. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthur whispered to you? Who? Grimthur. The son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Enough. We will continue later. All right. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. Which way? Um, hold on a second. Is that Ah, there's a special chest there. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Got a ballerina. Of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Upon you, incoming fire! Oh. Holy. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Oh, great. Holy moly. A big guy over here.
All right, here we go. Couldn't dodge because I was in the middle of an animation. <laughs> Almost had him there. Get these. <laughs> Hold on, there's three of them. Holy crap! You can't dodge out of the way. What? Double tap to dodge. What do you think I was doing? I should hope so, because these guys have been taking us around in circles. Oh, oh this looks more promising. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <gasps> hey, the word of fate. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Amazing. All right, what have we got? Here. Here we go. Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods, turn against his creatures. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. Right, this is not working. Oh, yeah, no, 
How does that time block? <laughs> If that was his actual giants or not, though. Are we in our own minds yet? It's a big he boy. Certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, but the parts in your mind will be real too. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Alright. Looks looks very similar to our our woodland. Oh yeah. Freya of the Bend. Master of magic. Of the Valkyries, Witch of the Wounds, Frig of Asgard, Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> we always find somebody to blame. The further we go, the further the uh, the marker seems to be. Right, there is something. How do we get to this? Oh. Oh, I hate these damn witches. Mary Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Crystal. Let me guess. I'm a long winded know it all and I cannot see. You forgot, smartest man alive. Jesus. All right. Uh, this we got through. We've opened that chest, yep. There we go. Mamir of the Aesir. Ah, here we go. Counselor to Kings. <laughs> Mary Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Good Fans. Let me guess. I'm a long winded know it all and I cannot change. See? You forgot, smartest man alive. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
Clinks like genuine hacksilver. Okay, some uh, health over here. That run past there is. Click that. Alright, we're good to go. There's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemire. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Ah, I hate damn things. A phantom! Frost Move phantom. Magic. Oh. Aim for the runic floor! Bloody oh. hell, look at that thing! even here to yet. We have an idea what to do. We need to take out those pillars. So it's a two-stage process. Let's switch over to the blades. Oh, I need her to change. What is that? Arrows as well. There you go. A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that! Thing. Yeah! <laughs> 
didn't work. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. What is that? A phantom! This way, come. Oh. Needs to be near this room, stone. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Well, 
get another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Get these health vials. Ooh. Well, third time lucky. All right. Move this rock out of the this way. way. Uh, looks like we've got some upgrades here as well. Uh, on the shield, what do we have? We've got a guardian level four. Oh. Uh, what's the shatter shield? You know what? I've never used that. <laughs> Alright, let's head back. Yep, head back. Um, Blades of Chaos. Leviathan Axe. So we can't do any upgrades on this, but we, what we can do, no, no, there we go, right here, what have we got, uh, you got runic engrave and runestone refinements, we got a runic, oh, hold on a second, we've got level 3 sonic aftershock, and that's about it. Um, okay, the first runic arrow from a full quiver deals greatly increased damage. Melee attacks against an enemy affili affiliated with Sonic deals significantly increased stun. Why well, have I still got this? Sigil amplification. Sonic attunement. Sonic arrows. Um... Uh, first, um, what's this one? Using the he, uh, health stone original refunds. Uh, we changed that for the Sonic. Sorry, um, for that. Hold on. That. For the engraved. Release no runestone and uh, that one. Okay, let's see what that does for us. Okay, we've got some amulets. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Banheim. Uh, melee damage. Uh, Stats bonus increase. Chris melee damage against. Stasis affiliated enemies based on luck. Uh, increases Grace's melee damage when he is above 75% of based on defense. Right hand level emblem protecting the wearer from this. Ah, yes. So protect me from getting dazed. Midgard um, increases the damage of all of the Grace's rage attacks and abilities based on his cooldown. Okay. The ones are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> we must be getting no nearer. That runic demon thing must have been a boss. Oh, a mini boss fight. <laughs> that itchy sound again. Normally I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? Hmm. I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling!
Oh, great. Here we go. Like in a little arena. Oh, oh that looks official. Did what you must. Brother, the team, it's pulling me in. Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus, I am coming! <laughs> Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Ah, give her a break. See him the way he wants to be seen. I don't want to go back. He's a liar. He's a murderer. Really? That's all I had to do. Now he's mine. He's killed his own family. I am here. I didn't lock onto him. I'm not safe with him. I have literally zero health here. There we go. Oh, Father, help me! He's a monster! Oh. I think 
it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A kelp. Oh, okay. You don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nice. A, a kelpie? Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. That might not be her favorite subject. What on earth is going on? Crasis <laughs> has been taken on one hell of a trip. Anyone Here. slip some Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Did anyone slip some mushrooms into Kratos' drink? <laughs> this is one psychedelic trip he's having he's having he's having. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. Hmm? Ah. Uh, you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When and my son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving.
He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. <laughs> Well, he finally knows the truth. He knows his death is soon. Uh, oh. Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with, as part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galaport. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Collecting some hack silver, let's get out of here. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Question. There's something I need to do. Nope. Their way around it. Kratos, I see something. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I see something. Yes, I heard you the first time. What do you see? Okay, that's the way. Uh, that's where we came from. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies. And yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? <laughs> Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. 
If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Okay, there's one letter there, one letter there. There should be a third. Is that on my side? Get around this line. Okay, one, two. Where is the third? Missing one cauldron. Where could that be? It's always the third one that's really hard to find. somewhere around right got it nice collect one or three apples needs to increase maximum health Dogs. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Oh, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. 
All right, we're at level four on the blades. Leviathan axe, level four as well. Shield. Oh, we can upgrade to level five. That nice. Ooh. May it strike true. Shield of Rond. For a quick and precise warrior. Try that one out. Increase the timing window on parries. Nice. Okay. Now that I can live with. I'll heat Let's up the forge. Increases damage caused by extinguished flames and vaporized frost skills. Ah, oh, you are kidding me, I can't craft those. I don't have enough hack silver. Okay. Anything more to discuss? Let's see. Oh, hold on a second. Norns have any good news for you? No. What about uh, wrists? Maybe buying something expensive will take your Wrist mind armor. off it? No, I can't do those either. Ah, oh, damn it. Heading right. off already? Never mind. Let's to make guard. Like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. <sighs> what else is there? You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? 
And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. All right, guys, on that note, I think we're going to leave it there. Um, it's been interesting, but it looks like we're going to be um, working our way into a battle with Heimdall. So, on that note, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, please do leave a like on the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button because it helps the channel out a hell of a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified next time I upload a video. But in the meantime, I'm going to love you and leave you guys, and um, yeah, I shall see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.